thrown to Mark Kerr. Plays a little flick. John Baird runs on against Gallagher. Shields the ball well. Back to Tom Tayo. Crosses it in. Craig Sibbald. Oh, I have to say, Tony, that was a well constructed cross there. As I heard somebody back there saying it was a free header from Craig Sibbald. Good to see them though. He came off his market to try and give himself that extra space. Off to Leahy. Nice touch there by Leahy to Sibbald. Back to Leahy again. Sibbald. Nice one two between Falkirk there. John Baird plays it wide. Kieran Duffy's helping out. Tom Tayo's there as well. Kieran goes in a semi overlap. Nice cross though. Unfortunately, not quite the direction to the centre of the box, but Craig Sibbald up against the fullback, crosses in, nice cross, nice header, goal! What? Excuse me for that call, but what a cracking header there! Kieran Duffy scores. Yeah, that's a great strike, isn't it? Great play, great credit to Craig Sibbald. I think Kieran Duffy, for me, when he plays Falkirk play, I've said that time and time again. On form, Kieran Duffy's the best overlapping fullback in this league, and there he just showed you. Duffy clears well though. Mark Kerr to Will Volks. Plenty of room in front of him. To Craig Sibbald. Is he going to take a shot? No, he's going to pass. Oh, nice finish! Second goal for Falkirk. Lovely play by the Bairns. Ball out from Craig Sibbald. Cuts it back. Will Volks, six yard box. Says thank you very much. Second goal for Falkirk. It's Falkirk two, Livingston nil. And it just shows, Tony, when we start to play some intricate football, nice passing football, we get that second goal. Two assists for Craig Sibbald, but Will Volks deserves to take a bit of strength in that as well. I mean, he broke forward with the ball there and then picked Sibbald out, and Sibbald's as cool as you like in the box, isn't he? I mean, he, he's in the box here, and the temptation is to put your laces through it, and he doesn't, he just looks up. So it rolls the ball across the six-yard box for a tap in for Volks. Mark Kerr, got a man on, middle of the park, but he sees that. Nice ball again to Kieran Duffy. Takes on Rutherford, nice cross. Who's there in the middle? Two or three in the middle. Can somebody turn around and shoot? No, Sybil tries. Loy, oh, nice ball. John Baird through in his own. Can he finish? No. Stuart, he just took a touch too many there, didn't he? Yeah, he was. Look at that one back on the replay in just in a second. Cracking just ball. watch as he gets into the box here, Stuart. As he comes now, he takes his touch on his right foot and he should have shot it there. Yeah. Well played, Falkirk. Far side, Kieran Duffy. Marauding forward to John Baird. Back to Tom Tayo. There's Rory Loy still onside. Crosses it in. Who's got the backside? Craig Sibbald not quite tall enough. Will Vox looks long. Rory Loy stretches his legs. Gallagher's marking him. Plays the ball to Craig Sibbald. Nice play. Jinx and crosses. Ball. Tayo. Oh, what a save. Falkirk players there were trying their best to sort of dink the ball around. Loy, Sibbald. Tayo takes a touch. Got out his feet a little bit, but then Will Volks has a strike, but Jemison makes a very, very good save. Rory Loy takes a turn, past Millen, over to Leahy, crosses it in. McCracken, Grant, and Volks in the middle, looking for the ball. Will Volks try to take the flick, back to Sibbald. Tom Tayo, out to Mark Kerr, into the box, takes a shot, nice save again by the goalkeeper, cracking save. Sakaja tries to get the ball, middle of the park, Well, that's, Sy a, that's a foul, Stuart. I think so. I mean, Sives was at it earlier. It was Sives that was holding on to, to Loy when he ran through him just a couple of minutes ago. So it's not the first time. Oh, deflected though by Rory Loy. Will it stop? Yes, it will. He gets it. Well done. Kept in Rory. Into the box. But to nobody, Keegan Jacobs picks it up. Rory tries to win it back against Gallagher. But Gallagher uses his strength. Mark Kerr though wins. To Luke Leahy. Will Vox half turn. Tom Tayo. Here's another foul. Well, Volks crosses in. Up goes McCracken. Oh! 
Rather ironic there. Will Volks was McCracken was saying there to Will Volks, give the ball to me, I'll put the ball in the back of the net. He gave him the ball. Unfortunately, Cracks didn't manage to get it in the back of the net. But a good chance again, Tony. To be fair, he got well at the back post there, didn't he? It was a good delivery again. Taiwo to Sibbald. Nice play again from Falkirk. Keep it nice and short, guys. So win it all the time. Well done. Rory Loy off to Tom Taiwo. John Baird looks wide, doesn't get it. Gets it eventually. Via Kieran Duffy to Mark Kerr. Plays a short ball again to Tom Tyo. Nice play. Oh. Plays the ball in the middle. Another chance here for Falkirk. Nice turn, nice half turn. And along to Tom Tyo. Uh, beg your pardon, Luke Leahy. <laughs> Craig Sibbald. Tries to use his strength there. Sibbald did the foul, I know, to be fair. Yep. Yeah. South Stanford looking for a foul. Oh, nice touch there by Sibbald. But Luke Leahy was offside. David McCracken, no. Heads into the wall. <laughs> don't, know what don't know what that was all about. That, they're <laughs> laughing at that one, isn't he? He falls on his, he falls on his posterior. I don't think that was from the training ground. Was, was, that, the was that maybe the one where he was maybe trying to get behind the ma man, kneel behind him and waiting for him to step back so he falls over? I don't know. But anyway. Tom Tyo, though. To Rory Loy. Crosses the wall in. Oh, poor cross. I would have, well, possible looks, as you were saying, David Smith. Oh, nice ball to Baird. Shoots. Oh, side netting for Falkirk. Jim McDonald takes a touch, then clears it into the middle of the park. Flicked on by Will Volks. Well, flicked on Will. Unfortunately, not one, but one there by Falkirk. Rory Loy passes out to Craig Sibbald. Oh! Thought somebody was going to flick that in there, but it's a corner kick. I think it was a. Nice save though, by the Livingston goalkeeper. Out for a corner kick. Falkirk's first chance of the game. Short to Loy, back to Tayo. Crosses the ball in, nobody's there though. Peter Grant's out wide. Try to cross, diving header by Craig Sibbald. <laughs> Mark Kerr. Craig Sibbald. Luke Leahy's looking overlapping him and he is can he cross it in he can but unfortunately straight down the goalkeeper's throat Jemison clears it long Peter Grant is up as he has been all season clears the ball away good header against Jordan White Well, Volks tries to win the ball against Hippolyte but Craig Sibyl does win the ball instead nice pass Taylor Morgan through Let's see if he can score a goal. Oh. Unfortunately, went over. Taylor Morgan tried to be the good Samaritan, passing the ball to David Smith to get his third goal in four games for Falkirk. But unfortunately, it was one of those cow and beef moments again. It was Rory Loy, but Hippolyte was better to that and was watching for it. So clears the ball. Keegan Jacobs tries to play the ball to Jordan White. But then managed to win the ball back again. Does Keegan Jacobs. Takes a shot. Saved by McDonald. Oh! <laughs> Jordan White. <laughs> well, watch that one again. That oh. was too funny. <laughs> yep. Oh, my word. Kick out for Jamie McDonald. Keegan Jacobs. Wins the ball. Falkirk. Mark Kerr. Out to David Smith. Puts the ball in. Taylor Morgan nearly. Another one. Oh. Ball goes out. Free header for Burton O'Brien. Mark Kerr. To Will Volks. David Smith on his own. And he goes, son. And the goalkeeper has a shot. Across the bows of the goalkeeper. That was a big chance for Falker, wasn't it? Another one again, two chances there. Peter Grant up against Mullen. Nice ball. David Smith. Into Taylor Morgan. Rory Loy. Passes it to Will Volks. Out to Smith. Tries to cross it in again. Nice crop, but unfortunately right down the keeper's throat. 
Great pass for Will Volks there to get that move underway, wasn't it? I'm sure one thing that Falkirk will be happy about as well, Tony, is getting a clean sheet because obviously we've been losing a few goals the last couple of games. It's always great getting that clean sheet. Adds yeah, confidence. we've still been quite expansive though to boot. It's not like we've got a clean sheet at the sacrifice of um, our attack and play going forward. And as the full-time goes, full-time whistle goes there. Nice proficient Falkirk's performance in the first half. Makes that uh, Falkirk win the full-time score here. Falkirk 2, Livingston 0. Yeah, I think um, we're unlucky not to be sitting here discussing, discussing a four or five goal win, but the flip of that is another week we've played with that and we've only got a draw, so we've got a clean sheet, we've got the three points. I think Craig Sibble was outstanding today. Centre midfield will really good. The front two worked their socks off all day. I thought the full-backs were good coming forward. I think that was really a failure in the team. If you're a Falkirk fan, the probably thing you're complaining about is the colds because it is bitterly cold here today, but job done for me. Yeah, I mean, especially the second half, obviously, Livingston made a couple of enforced changes with McKenna and also Hippolyte coming on, and they certainly curtailed the, the Falkirk full-backs because in the first half, uh, both Kieran Duffy and Luke Leahy were very effective. Yeah, I think the change certainly changed the game. The full-backs were pending a little bit more, and you could see that as the game went on. Luke Lee was devastating in the first half. I mean, honestly, they, they, those two were unplayable in the first... There's a 15, 16-minute spell in that first half. Those two were unplayable, for, in my opinion. It didn't matter who were playing, they would have torn them to pieces, which which is good, because we, we move on now. I mean, we've got we've got um, Glasgow Rain or Rangers here next week, whatever they're calling themselves. We've got them here next week. Well, it's I think they're beatable, isn't it? Well, obviously, they had the, their, their game last night against Wraith Rovers, where they had the 2-0 lead and Wraith got the, the goal back, obviously Peter maybe talk about that because I believe he was doing a bit of punditry work uh, last night uh, for the football, so we'll talk more about that maybe uh, post-match was here on Falkirk TV uh, but I think, yeah, we've got a chance uh, Friday night football uh, returns at Falkirk Stadium uh, next week unfortunately I'll not be able to make it uh, How many time we kick off, the time you finish? No, no, I, just show go off here? I'm, I'm off here at 7 o'clock Tony yeah, For you so, viewers at home, Stuart's um, drive time presenter on West Sound uh, plug for you there Stuart, for your yep, show you could Galloway, to him yeah. pre-match, and then um, you could uh, just tune in to Falkirk TV after that. And well, it'd be a good night for you. well, or if you're coming down to Dumfries, you can obviously listen to Dumfries and Galloway's number one drive time show. But that'd be a quick uh, plug yeah. for that. Uh, quick, <laughs> but yeah, but uh, as I say, I unfortunately can't make that. So it'll be uh, yourself and Lewis that'll be yes. doing the, the work on that. I'll certainly be I'm looking forward to that. I'll be watching it. Certainly second half anyway. I think I'll do a. A, a, a pub watch I think and hopefully it'll be a, a win for Falkirk against Rangers so uh, thanks so much for joining us today it's been a really cracking game Falkirk managed to get a, a good win uh, where they won by two goals to nil against Livingston